亲爱的观众朋友，大家好，欢迎收看本期的《对话华尔街》，我是陈思纯。目前有越来越多的外国公司到中国投资，并且大幅获利，使得人们对于中国的商业投资环境不禁刮目相看。那么，作为一个实际上改革开放只有三十多年的国家，中国的商业投资环境真的超过了发展了一百多年的西方资本主义国家的商业投资环境了吗？外商对于在中国投资需要注意的事项又有哪些？那么，作为世界上 GDP 总量第一与第二的国家，中美间的商业投资环境的区别又在什么地方？本期节目，我们有幸为您邀请到了美国 NASA 公司 CEO 格哈瑞先生。而格哈瑞先生作为一个在中国和美国都有投资并且获利的成功的投资商，由他来为我们讲一讲中美间投资方面的合作与竞争。Hi, Mr. Gary. Thank you for coming to our interview. It's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me.、Uh, first of all, as we know, you have many investments in China, and、uh, can you evaluate the、uh, Chinese investment environment right now? Yes, we've been present for seven years in a major operation, a growing operation in、mm -hmm. Beijing.、Um, I believe、uh, we, we've done quite well as a business, and I think、uh, we, we've seen a lot of rewards for being present there. We are hiring people there.、Mm -hmm. uh, we have customers、uh, in our space.、Uh, it was a good decision. Thank God we went there at the right time. And I think、um, market is still very strong from my, our perspective to do a lot more in that market. So very comfortable with it, and I think it's going to do very well for us. So what do you think is the greatest、uh, risk in the、uh, financial market right now? In the U.S. or in China? In China. Uh, my view is, I'm not an economist,、uh, but as a businessman, I believe、mm -hmm. um, investors coming into China,、um, they want to see steady growth as it has been growing、uh, for many, many years, nine, ten percent. Investors would like to see a bit more transparency,、uh, more governance.、Uh, likewise, when investors invest in the U.S. market,、uh, the biggest advantage they have is the institutions are very strong. You know, it protects the investors. You know, so same way if.、Uh, We see a bit more streamlined uh, environment, uh, much more friendly.、Uh, people feel comfortable about investing,、uh, and they know where they're investing.、Mm -hmm. That can take away a lot of、uh, concern if anyone has any concern. But to me,、uh, as a business, it's a, it's a very big market, it's a very growing market, and、uh, investors can do very well if they understand the risk factors and can find a way to overcome those risks in the minds of investors. So, do you think investment in China is still going to play an important role under the new leadership? I've not learned much about the new leadership.、Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen the news, and I was myself in Beijing a year ago.、Um, I should say yes.、Um, uh, one has to look at in a positive way. The reason is very simple,、uh, Kevin. Over the course of many years, where China has transformed from a、uh, a society which was not Capitalist taken,、mm -hmm. but last 20, 25 years we have seen an amazing turnaround, and it's、uh, all all credit to people and、uh, the government there, and、uh, a lot of companies who are doing business, they're doing very well because there's advantage.、Uh, I think、uh, going forward, I I should assume if the government can address some of those macro challenges that keeps investors、mm -hmm. rather more conscious about going there. And if they can streamline, I believe、uh, it should do better.、Um, what I'm seeing,、uh, the slight dip in the economy, to me is just a not a permanent thing. It will come back because、mm -hmm. the U.S. economy and Chinese economies are linked with each other,、yeah. uh, because this is the biggest consumer economy, industrial economy, and they depend on each other. You know. So as this slows down, it affects the China also. But long term, I think it should, it should do better than what it is doing right now. So, how do you think the government、uh, can get more investments under you said that kind of condition? And what do you think the government should kind of what kind of role the government should play? I think、uh, we have seen from experience、mm -hmm. we're a small、uh, technology company、mm -hmm. and we're listed on Nasdaq as you know. We've seen the doing business in China can be more friendlier,、um, can be more user friendly rather. The system, the process can be more streamlined.、Mm -hmm. Because、uh, if you look at doing business in、uh, some of the Western markets,、uh, although some markets are struggling in Europe, but in U.S. they are straightforward system and processes. I think if we can、uh, have a more friendly environment, bureaucracy, understanding, 
the foreign investors or businesses who want to do business in China, it can really help uh, mm -hmm. because the time it takes to set up an operation, uh, even though you want to follow all the requirements, but it can take a very long time and it frustrates some of the companies that I've gone through myself. We're there, we're very happy, we have seen a lot of benefits for being in China. Mm -hmm. It will continue to grow, but in the big picture, I think uh, it should be streamlined. The system, the way to uh, set up operation, whether you do it to the local partnership in Chinese and China or bring your own mm -hmm. ownership and investment. Bottom line is, Kevin, companies go to China and invest a lot of money. A lot of money. I mean, I've yeah. seen Apple and SAP and Oracle, all those big companies, they have their plans, they mm -hmm. have their millions of employees, and that's very good for the economy. And Chinese government should encourage more because, quite frankly, as the largest populated country in the world, the young generation is coming up, they're getting mm -hmm. educated, mm -hmm. and they're looking for more opportunities. And the opportunities coming from lo both local companies and, of course, uh, foreign companies. So, in a nutshell, uh, I would like to see more streamlined way of doing business in China. Great. So for people like you, uh, what do you think you guys should consider when uh, investing in China? More transparency, mm -hmm. uh, more financial regulations, more governance. Uh, because we used to in the U.S., uh, I've, my company is listed for 15 years, everything is open, what you see is what you get in the financial mm -hmm. way. For investors, especially the funds and institutional investors who want to be long-term investors in China, to see more liquidity in the market at the same time, more reporting mechanism where invest investors feel comfortable about what they're mm -hmm. getting into. And that goes not just for the investor, investment in the security, but also investment in the business where if I want to buy a company in China, for example, I want to make sure that I feel comfortable with the, with the financial reporting you know, and disclosures. So and that come from the financial government-owned regulations and governance. You know. So as a uh, professional, what kind of, other than those, what kind of uh, suggestions would you give to those uh, Chinese companies? First of all, I think Chinese are very hardworking people. Mm -hmm. um, they have proven to the world that where they've come from, from a communist society to a more forward and progressive society, and it shows we go there. The, they need to open up more uh, opportunity for the foreign companies. Uh, it helps both ways. Uh, they need to open more uh, doors to do business in a way that you just not feel as a foreign company. The reality is foreign companies have played a big part in the last 20 years in mm -hmm. the economy because they created opportunities. Yes. Likewise, uh, the opportunity for the U.S. market also because if you look at the U.S., the biggest consumer for every product, whether it's oil, energy, computers, they and autos, uh, most of them are produced or manufactured in China. You know, I would like to see more environment-free fair environment for foreign companies like mm -hmm. Nestle or bigger companies to be able to do business, uh, hire people, uh, cut down the red tapeism or bureaucracy to make it bottom line more user friendly and investor friendly to be able to do things there. Okay, lastly, um, can you briefly um, compare the investment uh, environment in the U.S. and that in, the chi in China? See, U.S. is a very mature market, mm, you yeah. know, they're incredible stock exchanges, there's incredible regulations. One of the reasons why Chinese have invested over a trillion dollar in the U.S. market is because they feel comfortable mm -hmm. that they can be sure about their investment, right? Because the system is so good, uh, everybody's protected. If we have the same system, I think, in China, then I think China can do actually better because China needs to have more liquidity in the market, uh, more regulation to give the company. So there's a huge difference between uh, the environment, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean the Chinese being the second largest economy right now can do a lot better because look at the population, look at the middle class coming up, look at the companies who are benefiting being in China like Nestor or bigger companies. So I think they both are different uh, environment altogether. One is a very mature economy mm -hmm. in the U.S. investors knows what they're doing all transparent, all everything is available. Others is a young economy which is coming up and they need to learn by experience and by adopting some good practices from the U.S. and both ways can learn from each other. But definitely those two economies are inter interlinked and they depend on each other. And the best, best thing they can do is to work on the currency, mm -hmm. think that way yes. your fair yes. balance act that way. The Americans feel that they can sell their goods mm -hmm. in China and all over the world and not it's kind of lopsided, to be honest with you. So I think government can look at it. This is the biggest issue we hear on TV all the time. If they can balance the currency, it gives 
fair opportunity like in the US everybody's got fair opportunity to do business yes. it could be Chinese Korean Pakistani or Indian mm -hmm. because of fair game we like to see that happen in China that will really hold well for the Chinese market also thank you Mr. Gary thank you for coming to the interview thank you Kevin 好的亲爱的观众朋友以上就是本期的华尔街多媒体对话华尔街节目我是陈子纯我们下期节目再见